in a remarkable move towards improving communication across India, BSNL has launched a direct-to-device satellite connectivity service. This innovative service is set to bridge the digital divide by providing network connectivity to even the most remote areas of the country. Imagine the ability to make calls and send messages without being tethered to a cellular network. This is now a reality for countless users who have historically faced communication challenges due to geographical constraints. At its core, BSNL's satellite-to-device service utilizes geostationary satellites positioned roughly 36,000 kilometers away from Earth. This enables a reliable two-way communication link, empowering users to connect regardless of their location. For those living in isolated villages or regions devoid of traditional network infrastructures, the introduction of this service signifies a breakthrough. Users will be equipped to make emergency calls, send SOS messages, and even conduct UPI payments all without relying on cellular signals or Wi-Fi connections. The collaboration with Viasat further enhances the reliability of this service, ensuring uninterrupted connectivity by leveraging a non-terrestrial network, NTN. BSNL is pioneering a project that not only serves its existing customers, but also reaches out to millions lacking access to basic communication services. In a country where connectivity can often be inconsistent, this step taken by BSNL promises to empower individuals and communities by providing them with the means to communicate effectively and access essential services. As BSNL rolls out this groundbreaking service, the anticipation surrounding its pricing structure remains high. While details about the costs have yet to be disclosed, stakeholders eagerly await further announcements. The advent of this satellite service comes at a time when global players like Elon Musk expressed surprise at the initiative undertaken by BSNL before the entry of Starlink, indicating the competitive landscape of satellite communications in India. The implications of BSNL's direct-to-device satellite connectivity service are profound. No longer will geographical barriers inhibit people's ability to communicate, seek assistance, or engage in financial transactions. This service revitalizes the notion of connectivity, shaping the way individuals in rural, underserved regions interact with the world. As the landscape of communication continues to evolve, BSNL's initiative serves as a beacon of hope, illustrating that innovative solutions can emerge to address long-standing challenges. Ultimately, this leap into satellite connectivity not only transforms the way users communicate, but also enhances overall quality of life in overlooked areas across India. The Indian government has taken several actions regarding BSNL's satellite-to-device service. The Department of Telecommunications, DOT, has announced that BSNL has launched India's first satellite-to-device service. Additionally, the government has passed the Telecommunication Act in December 2023, which allows satellite companies to get spectrum via the administrative allocation method. The government has also provisionally allocated satellite spectrum to Airtel and Geo for a period of six months. Furthermore, the Telecom Regulatory Authority of India, TRAI, has released a consultation paper seeking inputs on the terms and conditions for satellite spectrum allocation. The current status of satellite communication services in India is growing, with the market size expected to reach USD 580 billion by 2029. The Indian government has recently passed the Telecommunication Act in December 2023 which allows satellite companies to get spectrum via the administrative allocation method. The government has also released a range of rules to operationalize the Telecom Act, but is yet to finalize the process for satellite spectrum allocation. In September, the Telecom Regulatory Authority of India, TRAI, released a consultation paper seeking inputs on the terms and conditions for satellite spectrum allocation. Additionally, Providers like Airtel have pushed for provisional allocation of spectrum to non-geostationary orbit NGSO satellites. And in October, the government provisionally allocated satellite spectrum to Airtel and Geo for a period of six months. Some of the key players in the Indian satellite communication market include Hughes Communications India Ltd, Itata Communications Viasat Inc OneWeb and Party Airtel Limited. The market is driven by the growing demand for satellite-based services, increasing investment in the space sector, and growing adoption of satellite-based applications. 1. The satellite communication market is rapidly growing in India, with the government investing heavily in developing new satellite systems. 1. 
The Indian National Satellite System, INSAT, is Asia Pacific's largest domestic communication satellite system. Okay, friends, thanks.